Oh, hello there, everyone. Guess what? Today, I'm going to a lovely place called Czechia. Used to be known as the Czech Republic. Used to be known as Czechoslovakia. Which, why are we giving a history lesson? Well, there's a lot of places I've never been in Czechia. I've literally only ever been to Prague, and that was in the depths of winter with my friend Kim, if you remember. Very snowy. Today, I'm embarking on an adventure where I go to loads of different cities all around Czechia. So, without further ado, let's head to the airport. I think I left packing a bit too late. I hope I didn't forget anything this time. Oh god. There is the first place I ever lived in the UK. My first ever student accommodation, right next to Tottenham Hale. Wait for the train. I made it to departure. Stansted is oh, just so far away. You know, I really do love the smell of duty free. I think I'm here so often, it's just. I love that smell of perfume. Security was a bit late, my plane's already boarding, and I'm nowhere near the departure gates right now, so I'm distressed. But hey. Running through the airport just immediately get into the gate. That's much better than waiting. Probably shouldn't have stopped by for that meal deal as well, but boy, I'm hungry and I don't want to eat on this flight. If you ever do have to fly to Stansted, uh, positives, wait to get food until after you get near the gates. Gates are right here. Lots of food options. I just need to get something fast. 10 minute walk. Oh gosh. So as I sweat on my way to the gate, today I'm headed to Ostrava in Czechia. Oh, I shouldn't have Czechia in so late. I was given someone else's boarding pass? Yeah. You know, I didn't even read the boarding pass that doesn't say my name. <laughs> Thank you very much. So that was quite a first. They gave me someone else's boarding pass at check-in. I guess that's what you get with Ryanair. Welcome to Ostrava. Literally, airplanes right here. Right off the plane, right at the airport. All right, I am exhausted. I need to upload my YouTube video. Let's find some Wi-Fi. Oh yes, my favorite YouTuber, C Casey. Do not sit. <laughs> Hi. I hope you brought cash because this country only accepts check. Uh, there we go. There it is. We did it. Do you write for Evan? Are you are you a vlogger? That's correct. I've never written. You are not going to do it now here. He's it's crazy. happening. I love how each of these apartment buildings looks so unique. Yeah. Surprise, surprise, I was actually in the bathroom. I bet he thought I was gonna come out the other door, but that's not what happens on this channel, okay? We mix it up. This room actually reminds me quite a lot of the first ever room I lived in in the UK, like my student college. It's a, it's a little cozy place. I basically need to upload a video stat, so I'm gonna be doing that for the next hour. Hope the Wi-Fi's lit. Oh, no, no, if you vlog me, I will, I will take you to bed. <laughs> I've got a full day tomorrow in Ostrava. I'm very excited for it. I have a pounding headache. I'm gonna get to bed early so I can start the day off really well tomorrow. Let's just snap into that. Well, I've already had quite a productive day in Ostrava. Actually, I've been up for two hours because jet lag supposedly exists when you only cross one hour time zone. Either way, I went for a run. It was really productive, but didn't want to show you my hot, sweaty run. So, without further ado, let's go explore Ostrava. If I've been pronouncing this word wrong the whole time, I'm gonna be very upset. So here I am at an old coal plant. It's a blast furnace that was built in 1828, and essentially, at this point in time, is used as an art gallery. It's also one of the only blast furnaces in the world where you can actually walk inside of it. It's not really used for any of that stuff anymore, luckily, otherwise our feet would be getting burned. But, it's really freaking cool. Also, I hope you guys like my hard hat. Okay, safety first. If you guys have been to Splash Mountain in Disneyland, this is basically the log flume. Just a bit rustier while wow, we're going up there. We've made it to the top of Bolt Tower. Named after the one, the only, Usain Bolt. You think it's a joke, but it kind of is. But he's he's involved in this slightly, mostly because it's the same name. It's nice. If you end up being in Ostrava, 10 out of 10, why not? You can actually see they've got loads of other factories and cooling towers over this way. Just with the mountain's juxtaposition, which looks really pretty. And also, I don't know, I just really love this, this whole checker factory thing going down. This whole place used to be based on like factories and things. It's crazy like how much an industry is here. I just love the vibe of it. It does look something like out of a Studio Ghibli film. It's, it's Green uh, Big Ben. City Hall, City Hall. Oh, it's pretty. Just as I noticed last night, look how colorful all the buildings are in this, t in this city. Like, all of them are so bright and colorful. If you guys are afraid of heights, I hope you don't get afraid of this. We're just right on the edge here. Ooh. The wind is uh, quite strong. It's time to head down and visit the blast furnace. Time to go in the furnace. Ooh. So this up here is where we just were in the blast furnace, and then all the fun stuff coming right out here, where it's then checked by people with a fun little thing here. All the buttons. Whoosh. Okay, lights are off, but I can still see. That's fine. <laughs> can I push a button? Yeah. Boop! Oh, it went in. I hope I didn't turn on the furnace again. All right, Slavic squatting over. We are now finished at the factory. This is actually a really cool place. Um, 
like I said, if you're in this area, I, I never got a chance to experience anything like this in America. I feel like most of our stuff is more modernized, but it's really cool that they've been able to take this and uh, reuse it for other purposes. Part of this whole factory place has been reused as an art gallery. Another one is a concert hall. So it's really cool that a lot of places in Europe are reusing their old abandoned industries for arts and things. Slightly regretting that run I did earlier this morning because, oh boy, legs are getting tired. There's a public jukebox. I chose this song. We've made it to the gonk, a previous gas chamber, which is now a stage auditorium? Concert venue. Concert venue is the word you would say. <laughs> They've literally just changed a gas chamber into a concert venue. You can see Imagine Dragons here. Imagine. This is the old museum where kids can learn all about what the heck this stuff does. I can't wait to get some chody. Oh, that sounds no. delicious. <laughs> oh, and desserty. Wonder what that means. <laughs> Just trying to translate some of the menu Flash, here, and yeah, I'm uh, excited to try some deleted baby Flash, potatoes. Yeah. I was just told this is the statue of Saint Hedwig, like from Harry Potter, but looks more to me like Han Solo. People that really like Trump's daughter really want more of Ivanka. When your friend tells you a joke that you really like, rad nice. This is an old school elevator. Okay, Someone so needs to get in. Go for it. Oh my god, are you gonna go in that one? No way. What are you gonna do? Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna try and climb. You get squished. Oh gosh, that's so strange. Oh, there he go. You're like a conveyor belted food. I'm gonna hop in one of these cool guys. It's, it feels like a, a like a wizard elevator, like something out of Harry Potter. All right, here we go. <laughs> going down is much weirder than going. Oh, down. is it? I'll see you later. Oh Jesus, I might get into bye this. Bye You might have been like, wow, those drone shots are pretty sweet, but uh, it didn't look like the same place. What the, what the heck's going on here, sir? I actually spent the entire day in Ostrava, and we actually just drove for an hour through this lovely sunset to uh, Olomouc, hopefully pronouncing that correctly, and so I figured, why not, for the sunset, just get the drone over here. No drone shots from Ostrava. But now, time to check out the hotel, which is uh, this lovely blue building. Let's head in. It's now time to sample some beers. We've got six to choose from. I'm gonna go with this one first. Cheers. Boop. Oh, that's really nice. That is very lemony. A traditional steak. It's not traditional. This is way more traditional. We got, yeah. what, what can you describe it's what? Evans. It's I, I had a bite already. It's little potato pancakes oh. stuffed with cheese. Oh, I'm now back at the hotel. I had a great time exploring some of the alternative cities of Czechia, and tomorrow I'm gonna just keep doing it. We're gonna go through t another two. It's gonna be crazy. I'm getting a lot done. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, do what you do. I appreciate you. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.